Hey guys, Brian Fleming from buildingsocialproof.com. This week, we're going to talk about Facebook custom audiences, why they're so important, why you need them, how to set them up, and why they drop your ad costs and make your ads cheaper by using them. It's something you have to be doing with Facebook ads. So watch the video. I know you'll learn a lot. Okay guys, today I am so excited to share with you how to create a custom audience because they're so critical to doing Facebook ads. Okay, so first thing you're gonna wanna do is head over to facebook.com slash ads slash audience underscore manager, just like you see the URL up here. Then you're just gonna wanna click the big green button on the upper right, create audience, and choose custom audience. Now, Facebook gives you three ways to create a custom audience. I'm really only going to talk about two because I think most of you don't have apps. One way, and it's a really good way, is just to upload a customer list. If you have a list of existing customers, you have their phone number, you have their email, upload them right here and you can turn your customers into a custom uh, website or a custom audience. The great thing about it is now you can target those people dirt cheap and you can use them to make a look-alike audience where Facebook will do just that. It'll find other people in the country that look just like the people on your customer list. So the second way is to make a custom list of people who visit your website, and I think that's the more popular thing to do. So that's what I'm gonna walk you through right now. So what you wanna do is just click the website traffic link, and it's gonna say anyone who visits your site, you can uh, say the last 30 days or the last 180 days. It's completely up to you. Um, and just know that um, you can change those uh, those durations. You just want to give your audience a name. I'm going to call it um, video test audience, just as an example. And then you want to grab the pixel code, and we're going to I'm going to show you how to install that. You just click the cog down here, and click view pixel code. Just click on it; it highlights it, and just right click and copy it. Now we can create our audience. And, okay, I gotta type it in again. Uh, I'll call it test audience for video. Okay, so it's gonna create our audience. Okay, now it's working on our audience. It's uh, making it right now. So um, I'm gonna hit okay. And then we're gonna install the, um, the pixel code it gave us. Now, I know a lot of you guys are using WordPress, so I wanna show you how to install it on WordPress. So I'm on the Building Social Proof blog, and what I wanna do is go down to Appearance, and then just pick Editor, like this. When you come down, you're gonna see all these different pages in your theme. You're gonna look for the one called Header. Every WordPress theme has to have a file called Header, so just find it and click it. And then you're gonna look right where it said in Facebook, you're gonna look for something called a head tag. It just looks like this. It says head with some brackets around it. And you're just gonna paste your Facebook code in just like that. And then scroll down and hit update file. We are done. That's how you do it for WordPress. Now, if you have a standard website that uses HTML, you would probably be using an editor. I'm using Sublime here and there's our HTML page. It's the same thing. You're just gonna find the head marker and right below it, just paste your code in and then go under file and save. Now you have added the custom uh, audience tracking code. As people visit your website, Facebook's gonna start tagging them uh, as part of your audience. So I'm gonna pause the video and then show you how to add these custom audiences uh, to actually start doing something with them. Okay guys, I'm back now. I am in Facebook's Power Editor. If you haven't used it before, it's um, at facebook.com slash ad slash manage slash power editor. Uh, it's probably the best way you should be working on Facebook ads. Don't be intimidated because it says Power Editor. It's not very hard to use. But basically, Facebook organizes your, your ads into campaigns. So a campaign is just that, it's, it, it holds a bunch of ads and your ads can be grouped into ad sets and an ad set is basically an audience and a budget. Just think of it that way. So I made a sample ad set here and here is where we're gonna add our custom audience. So when you make your ad set, you're gonna see at the top, it, it gives you a bunch of stuff, how you wanna run your ad, a budget. I've got this one set to like 10 bucks a day and you can have a schedule for it. When you get down to audience, hit edit. 
And under custom audiences, you can include to include a custom audience. So I can type in my test audience and I can include other audiences that I've made and you can exclude audiences too. So I could exclude an audience. So how, why would you do that? Well, maybe you have um, uh, an audience of people who visited your site, but you want to exclude people who've maybe visited certain pages on the site. So you can do that sort of thing with your custom audiences. So there's really not much to it, but it's very, very powerful. And I tell anybody running Facebook ads that you need to be using custom audiences in one way or another. It's how you get the cheaper ad costs. So make sure you're doing it. I hope this video helped you out and helped you, helped you understand that making these custom audiences really isn't that big of a deal. I'll talk to you again soon. Take care. Bye-bye.